since I went to the conference. It was my first one in Nashville. Yeah. Um, and just the interactions that I had, still being fairly new in the mortgage industry, were were just so monumental. And there was so much great discussion um, every single day. So the fact that there's been continuous outreach and um, you know attempts to to further involve me with TMC, um, greatly appreciative of that for sure. Oh well, we are as well. We always like we like smart people in our space, and so hey. <laughs> you. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> take take that as a big win. Um, hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. This is Inside the TMC Family, and I have, as you may have heard from the beginning um, of this recording, someone relatively new to our network with me today. So excited to be having this conversation with you. So with me is David Ocasio-Ross, who is the AVP of Mortgage Sales at AmeriQ. Thank you for doing this with me having me faith much appreciated yeah so we had an opportunity to meet um but not have great conversation but meet at our last conference um and so we are interested in getting to know you personally a little bit better and what drives you um i did reference that we love smart people at tmc we have a lot of them um but we love to um we gravitate towards people that are dynamic in our industry and feel like um you have a lot of that great feel and great camaraderie after having been at one of our first conferences so let's get to know you a little bit better um tell me share with me what your first job ever was oh first job ever are we going back to like elementary school days where we can We're count a eight stand in the summer because i feel <laughs> That I'm was my first, first paid. Ever. <laughs> That's yeah. a good one. So yeah. you were into sales very early. Yeah. Um, first, give me your first paid job. First job first, that you ever got paid for. First paid job um, was at a supermarket. Uh, it was for a price chopper. Um, was able to get a job uh, on the register on the front line there, and you know I really discovered early on that there was uh, a passion for just dealing with people, um, just the constant interaction, had the opportunity to talk to a lot of regulars and build uh, you know, quite the following up there of, of people knowing me as the fastest person up at the front line. So they would come to me because they know I would get it quick and efficient. Uh, yeah, that was, that was 15, that was 15 for me. So at 15, you had enough insight um, to have a following in a grocery store where people were seeking out your line. That's pretty doggone cool. So from there, obviously 15, really young. How did, I mean, everybody has their own story and people don't tend to like seek out being in the mortgage industry. So mm -hmm. I'm interested in learning, how did you get into the mortgage industry? Um, well, you know, it was a very unique opportunity. Um, after about a decade in branch management and business development, I was looking for another opportunity um, that was closer to my daughter, actually. Um, and uh, AmeriQ came up. And uh, when this was, uh, you know, I guess awarded to me or, or this was uh, proposed to me, I should say, um, you know, it sounded like a great opportunity to hone the skills that I learned from branch management and from business development and sales and really put it together in a new space. Um, so it was for me an opportunity for more growth. Um, and a year and a half later, we're still here. So yeah, yeah, awesome. Take it, we'll take it. We Yeah, that is fantastic. Coming into like this new role for you, um, share with me um, like one thing that you wish that somebody would have like told you out of the gate that would have been really helpful to you that may be helpful to somebody who's listening to this who is also new um, mm -hmm. in the mortgage space well um you know i learned very early on with sales that um in a sales culture you have to be able to uh, really be unique with your approach um, essentially it, it's not a one size fits all um, I found that with sales, you know, you have to have a catered approach to each and every individual member, client um, that you have in order for it to be truly effective um, because you want to make sure that you mold that experience to them and what they're looking for. Some need a little bit more handholding, some are very independent, uh, but you want to cater to those signs that you're really gauging from that first initial interview. And then from there, you, you expand the relationship, you build their trust, and, and then you go from there. Yeah, great advice. Great advice for anybody coming in that genuine and real um, and working directly with people always, always seems to always seems to work well. Um, if you weren't 
in mortgage, what would you be doing? Oh, you know, I, um, I really enjoy just community volunteer work. Um, a little backstory on myself. Um, you know, I was raised um, in a not-for-profit household. Um, my mother, uh, she just retired this year, but she ran the Ronald McDonald House of the Capital Area in Albany, New York. Uh, oh my gosh, how cool. At one point, she was the longest tenured Ronald McDonald House employee in the world. So um, it's a uh, shout out to her because a lot of what I've learned in terms of dealing with people, um, you know, really came from witnessing firsthand how she dealt with different families of, of children that had, you know, that were battling some some amazing battles and showing amazing signs of strength. Um, you know, there was a lot learned in that environment. So um, I think just if I weren't in mortgage doing something along the lines of community work or youth development when it comes to, you know, coaching sports. I know we were talking a little bit earlier about how I coach my daughter on a couple different basketball teams. And uh, it's just such an amazing experience to, to, you know, build that love of the game and everything that it teaches, um, you know, the girls and, and, and uh, youth sports and uh, these little athletes that just to put so much into the game and learning. And so I feel like one of those two avenues would be awesome, but I love where I am. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and that's good that you love where you are because people that come into mortgage, they usually, they may not be in the same place, but we usually tend to not leave. Yeah. Um, instead, we just we just move around somewhat throughout our career. And right. once it's kind of in your blood, you um, don't leave. But I could see you doing either one of those things. So this is going to be um, posted out like right after the first of the year. Mm -hmm. um, and so I always love to ask people at this time of year, you seem like a relatively goal driven individual. Um, New Year's resolutions, like yes or no, and kind of like why? Is that something that you believe in? Um, yes, yes, wholeheartedly. Each and every year I set some, you know, I've, I've been teaching my daughter to also set some as well, because I think it's very important to have something to strive for. Um, you know, I, I think goals uh, personally, as well as professionally, are just amazing opportunities for you to sit here and, and hone in on your skills and build something greater um, and strive for something greater than than where you are previously. So it also gives us an opportunity, I think, as people to be able to look back and give ourselves a, a pat on the back for, for where we started and where we are now so that we can look at the progress. Um, so I'm a big proponent of New Year's resolutions, goals, no matter how small, how big, um, I think celebrating the wins in between two is just as important as setting the goal. Uh, I love that. Much of the same, much of the same belief. I do think that um, moving yourself forward and being in constant self improvement um, is is always a is always a good thing. And you know, one of the exciting things that we have to look forward to in our lives are new experiences and new things. So. This has been a delightful conversation. I hope we get to have many more of these when we're together um, in person at our conferences. Thank you so much for doing this with me today. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for reaching out. I appreciate it.